welcome to PTPioneer.com, your number one resource for getting started in the personal training industry. Uh, today we're going to be talking about personal training salary or how much money you can make once you become a personal trainer. And there are a lot of different factors to think about when trying to calculate your estimated income when you become a personal trainer. So I'm going to break those down and talk about all the different uh, uh, options that you have. So some quick facts about personal training. So personal training has a 10 year uh, job growth rate at, at about 24%, which is uh, significantly above the average. Um, in the next 10 years, it's uh, estimated that approximately 60,000 new personal trainers will, will be employed. Uh, a lot of this is because the baby boomer generation is getting to the age where they need personal training. Um, and they're starting to realize that if they want to live a full extended life that they need to start getting in shape uh, and personal training is the best option for them. Um, so according to IDFIT, um, the average personal training certification is about $39,000 per year in the United States. Um, and that's mostly taken, uh, my guess is from people working at commercial gyms, which is the places that hire the majority of personal trainers out there. Um, and if you're working part time, you could uh, expect to do about twenty to twenty five thousand dollars per year. Uh, you can get up to that quite easily, especially if you're working at a commercial gym that hands you uh, clients themselves, so you don't have to sell all the training. Um, but you could definitely—it's a very lucrative, lucrative career. You can make anywhere between fifty to a hundred thousand dollars or more. Uh, I've seen a lot of clients, uh, personal training friends of mine make a good amount of money and I'm going to tell you how in this video how they do that. Um, so some factors that affect personal training salary. So they are experience, the certifications that you hold, um, specializing, location, education level, and um, where you do your personal training. Um, so how experience can affect personal training, this is one of the most obvious ones, is that once you uh, have established yourself as a personal trainer that really gets your clients results, uh, word of mouth will spread that you're very good, obviously you'll get better at your job the more you do it uh, as time goes on and people will recognize that and you might get a you might get a raise at the place you're working or you might be able to get more clients because of your experience level uh, also allowing you to make more money. Um, <clears throat> how different certifications can affect salaries. So there are certifications that are preferred over other ones. So uh, my whole website, PT Pioneer, talks about the best personal training certifications. Uh, I suggest you check out down below if you want to learn about the best certifications. I compare and contrast them and review them personally. Um, you know, an online certification that takes you a weekend to pass won't be recognized as highly as a certification like ACE or NASM that are both NCCA accredited. Um, so yeah, I mean, I've seen people uh, get hired with the preferred certification, uh, which was NASM at the place I was working and they'd get paid a little bit more than people that didn't have NASM. Um, not all places do that, but it's a possibility that your employer might do that. <clears throat> uh, another thing that can affect personal training salary or how much you make is, um, if you're specialized or not. So just like doctors, like specialists cost more to go to, same with personal trainers because uh, if you specialize in sports conditioning as a personal trainer and then some an athlete's trying to gain peak performance, uh, they'd rather hire the personal trainer that specialized in sports performance than a general personal trainer and they will pay more for that specialization, it's just the way it works. Um, so specializing in one area or another definitely is another way uh, another factor that can increase or decrease your salary. Uh, how location can affect your salary. So location is one of the biggest things out there uh, in terms of how much money you make. Uh, if you're working at a place where the average income is much higher, you'll probably make a lot more money as a personal trainer. People are more wealthy there, they're willing to pay more for your services. That's just the way it is. If you live in a small town where the average income is much lower than the chances of you making a high, uh, high income as a personal trainer is much lower. So if you're working in Los Angeles and you're working with like movie stars and athletes and stuff like that, your salary is going to be a lot higher than if you're working uh, in the middle of nowhere where people don't make too much money uh, and aren't willing to spend that much money on um, your services. So real fast, the top five 
um, cities for personal trainers is number one, San Francisco, California at $64,000 uh, average. Um, the second is uh, Lowell, uh, Beresia, um, Massachusetts is $59,000. Um, the third is Trenton Ewing, New Jersey at $57,000 average a year. The fourth is Santa Rosa, Petaluma, California at $56,000 average a year. And then Vallejo, Fairfield, California at $52,000 um, per year on average for, for a personal trainer. So the last one is how your education can affect your salary. So if you're coming out with like a bachelor's degree in kinesiology or exercise science, that's a lot prefer that's preferred a lot more by employers. I've seen it happen. Um, I've seen people with college degrees and a certification make more money than just people with a certification. Um, <clears throat> But in general, this is one of the best paying jobs that you actually don't need a college education for. You just need to get certified through a credible certifying agency and you can make um, not as much as you want, obviously, not an unlimited amount of money, but you can make a good amount of money, you know, over six figures. I'm going to talk about my friends that do that. Um, so where you work can affect your salary probably more than anything else. So if you're working at a commercial gym like 24 Hour Fitness, uh, this is where most people start out in the personal training industry. Uh, it's a good place to get your foot in, but the only problem is you're gonna make about $20 an hour as opposed to, you know, if you were making all the money that your client paid for your services for that hour, it's about $60. So you're making about a third of what your client pays because you need uh, the facility. So 24 Hour Fitness takes uh, cut. They take about a third of the money for the use of their facility and their equipment. The salesperson that handed you the client usually takes about a third as well. So you're, you're left off with the remaining one third of what your client is paying and uh, you can expect to make about $40,000 a year working at a commercial gym. That's eight hours a day, five days a week, uh, and then for 50 weeks out of the year, which they say you take two weeks off from vacation, uh, that's about forty thousand um, dollars. So the next option is working at like a private studio or a local gymnasium in your own hometown. Um, so at a private studio, the, there are pluses and minuses. The plus is that you'll make a lot more money. The club will usually take about a third of the money still. So you're left with if your clients are still paying sixty dollars per session for an hour long session, uh, you're left with making about forty dollars an hour. Uh, the only trouble is you're going to have to have networking and sales skills to be able to do that. Uh, you're going to have to, if you have a big network of people that want to work with you, that's great. So if you can build up to full time at a place like this, um, you know, you could expect to make between sixty and $80,000 a year. Remember, this is before taxes, um, but still get a chunk, still get a chunk of money. <clears throat> the, the most uh, lucrative way uh, to become a personal trainer is if you work for yourself, um, there are some things that you need to think about that you need to purchase ahead of time. Some are, you know, if you need to rent out a place to train people, uh, your own studio or gymnasium, you might be looking at about $1,000 a month to rent the space. It depends on where you live, obviously. You can get it for cheaper, it can be more expensive than that, but that's about average in the United States. You also don't need a studio, you could work outside. Um, permitting that the weather is nice enough. Obviously, if it's raining, you can't do that. Uh, you, can, you can work in your own home, but you need to make sure you have enough space. Uh, or you can work in your client's home. Those, these are all the options for working for yourself. But some things you need to consider. You do need to buy equipment, and this can be a big upfront cost for you, depending on what type of client you want to work with. So if you're working with like a power athlete that needs Olympic weightlifting uh, a set with a squat rack and stuff like that, that's expensive expensive stuff. Um, on the other hand, if you're working with elderly individuals that are trying to work on stability and uh, endurance and stuff like that, flexibility and balance and stuff like that, you can get away with like a BOSU ball, a stability ball, <clears throat> some resistance bands, a TRX set, uh, some light dumbbells and some light barbells, which is a lot cheaper, it's a lot more portable as well, so you can take this equipment wherever you're going to meet your client whether it be your studio or an outside location or their house, uh, or you could have all this equipment in your own house. Um, the cool thing about working for yourself like that is that you're gonna make all the money that your client pays for. So you're gonna make 
$60 an hour. So that could be up to, if you build up to a full-time uh, job working eight hours a day, five days a week for 50 hours a year, I mean 50 weeks a year, you could be making up to $100,000. Um, a lot of people say, oh, you can't make $100,000. Well, I've seen it. Um, <clears throat> you can do it. Uh, some things that you will need besides the equipment and the space, you're going to need a lot of networking abilities. You're going to need uh, cards for yourself, you're going to need your own website hopefully so people can reach you there, um, outreach on social media, um, and you really need to be able to sell the training yourself, which some people can't do, but if you have those abilities, then you will be in luck. Um, the last thing that you'll need for working for yourself is that personal training insurance, which is about $150 a year, so it's very minimal. Uh, but yeah, um, some of my friends, what they do is they do small group training. So instead of the one-on-one -on -one training where a client pays $60, you get gather like five or six people that are willing to pay $20, and they all work out together. So now you're making $100 or $120 an hour, so they're paying a third of the price and you're making t almost twice as much money per hour. Uh, I know some people that work their asses off and they pretty much are full time at this and they are making a lot of money. They're making a lot of money. Uh, definitely over six figures. I haven't asked, asked them exactly how much money, but even after taxes, it's over over six figures, definitely. So if you, if you, you know, if you have the network ability to build that many clients, then you know, you can make a lot of money. It's pretty much uh, not, it, there is an end to it, but it's pretty limitless almost. Uh, you can make a lot of money doing small group training, working for yourself, taking all the, all the credit, all the commission as well. <clears throat> uh, yeah, so that's how much money you can make. Uh, I suggest you check out my article, um, the top 10 personal training certifications. So if you're trying to get in, in the industry, I have an article on how to become a personal trainer as well as which certifications to choose based off what type of training style you want to do. Check those out, you can't miss it. I also have discount codes on the top certifications and, and um, study guides on the top certifications. This is a resource I wish I had when I was getting started, so don't forget to check out PT Pioneer. The link will be down below, but give me a thumbs up if this video was helpful for you guys. Thank you. For study guides and discount codes on some of the top personal training certifications, head to ptpioneer.com. The link will be in the description down below. I have a step-by-step -step guide on how to become a personal trainer, how to make a lot of money once you are a personal trainer, and much more essential information on getting started as a personal trainer for you guys to check out. Until next time, guys, happy training.